The population of Earth has risen continuously since the Great Famine and Black Death in 1350. With numbers like these, it's no wonder the Tooth Fairy is getting behind. I decided to take matters into my own hands and figure out a system to ease the burden on the Tooth Fairy. If we can send our teeth directly to her, she won't have to spend the time visiting each of our homes. Lacking the budget to build an aerial delivery system, I settled upon a more traditional method of material transport, pneumatic tubes. With a shop vac and some PVC pipe, I designed an inexpensive system for the conveyance of lost teeth to the Tooth Fairy's treehouse. Using valves at each end to control the direction and a remote-controlled vacuum in the attic, building a two-way system is simple. Let's get started. Since I'm not yet sure where the Tooth Fairy lives, I built the first version of the system with a station in each of my two son's rooms. A pipe from the vacuum runs to both stations and manually operated valves determine where it pulls. I chose inch and a half pipe because it was a good size to run through two by four walls. The pipe in which the carrier travels runs alongside the vacuum pipe, but has smoother turns. This flexible PVC creates gentle curves that won't snag the carrier. Our carrier capsule is a one ounce travel bottle that fits well in the pipe with a single wrap of Velcro. It happens to hold a Lego minifig, which the Tooth Fairy may want to send in exchange for a tooth. For each of the sending and receiving stations, we need a way to load the carrier bottle into the transport pipe and reseal the pipe. These repair sleeves will act as a door to admit the carrier. A chunk of PVC sheet will act as a barrier between the vacuum pipes and the transport pipes, so the carrier stops in the right place when the vacuum runs. This little vacuum will live in the attic and be controlled by a Raspberry Pi and a power switch tail. I threw together a couple locking doors to prevent unauthorized access to the stations. To operate the system, we use old iPhones docked in each station, commanding the Raspberry Pi with a web interface over Wi-Fi. Instead of buying fancy docks, I just glued a couple old cases in place. Let's give it a test. Can you tap on Tooth Fairy? Put the bottle in there. Okay. Hit the bottom button. That's awesome! High five! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna go check on something. Hey, that's the Tooth Fairy! It is! As I mentioned, we don't yet have the system connected to the Tooth Fairy's secret treehouse. So the carrier just goes from one station to the other. Since the whole family gathers at the sending station during events, the boys don't notice. At some point during the process, one of the parents steps out and sneaks to the other station to swap the contents of the carrier and prepare the other station to send it back. Is it ready to come back? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says we should set this valve here. And we close this. Can you close that? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, engage pneumatic power. Open it up. <laughs> Mommy! Let's all help out the Tooth Fairy. Get started on your pneumatic transport system today.